I'm here for an update on the how to disable your RFID chip inside your credit card. I did a video about this two years ago and I've had a great response from everyone. Well, it was time to update our debit cards and they're getting a little more crafty. If you remember from my last video, I'll put it right here real quick. You can review it if you want to. I took my debit card and punched a hole right through the RFID chip. You can see it on the back and you were able to see it Watch the original video again because there was a divot in the plastic. Well, with newer cards now, such as the newer Payways, there is no little divot. So I got to show you a new way of how to identify these cards and how to disable them. First, I'm going to show you how to use your cell phone to identify if you have a card that has RFID built into it. Here's my old card with the hole punched through that doesn't work. And here's two new bank cards one that does not have RFID and one that does so we're going to use our cell phone a Samsung Galaxy S3 and a program called Electronic Pickpocket RFID we're going to use it to test the new card first So take it on over flip it over there you go picked up the information. Of course if I try it with my old card it isn't going to do anything. And the other new card that doesn't have the pay wave is not going to do anything. But if I use the new card again, let's clear the screen again. Almost picked it up. There you go. So we have to disable this card. Okay, yes, we're in the bathroom because I need a dark spot for this to work correctly. We have the new card with the Visa Pay Wave. You need a really strong flashlight. This is 7 watts. What we're going to do is we're going to flash the light through the card itself with the light on right around this area on PNC cards but you can use this to identify any other bank card. Let me shut off the light real quick. Nice and dark here. Turn the light on. And you can see there's that little black spot that you couldn't see before. That is the RFID chip. We need to break that chip and it'll work fine. Okay, I'm going to do this next part in real time to show you how well it actually works. I'm going to use a hole punch this time instead of a knife as some of my viewers have suggested. We're going to test the card one more time, punch it, and then test it again to make sure it doesn't work. So, here we go. Let's test it one more time. Put the card on over, right there. See, the RFID still works right now. We haven't done anything to it. Let's clear it, set this aside. Now, we're going to take the card. The RFID chip on this one, as we saw before, was between the E of unless and the G of signed. So let's line this on up, press on down a little bit, sign it up. Make sure you're just below the strip. You don't want to mess up the strip, just the RFID card. And, oh, there we go. Right through. Let's see here. Oh yeah, we can see a little bit of the junk hanging out there. That's a metal trace. So we went right through the board. So let's test it now and see what happens. absolutely nothing it's not picking it up anymore that disabled the RFID chip and the strip is still good you want even more proof that it worked here's the card there's the round circle guess what there's the RFID chip I just punched out of it and I took off the pieces of plastic there you go that's how you disable the newer style of the RFID chips that you find in bank cards Thumbs up is always appreciated. Share this video around as much as you can. Thanks a lot, everyone.